Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is iPad Geek 94 here with a tutorial on how to get an entire jailbreak on iOS 5.0.1. Now, I believe it was it was today that Big Boss people released a tweak to allow. No, my bad. It wasn't on um, Big Boss. It was um I believe it was Green Poison. They um released this for um, A4 devices. So. Here it is. Now this is my iPad Touch 4th gen, as you can see. Oops, sorry. See the RS5. Um, I kind of have a case here, so you can't see the back end. Um, all right, I can prove it in Cindy. Yeah? All right. Well, of course, they have the iPod. Right there. And now to really prove that it's on iOS 5 firmware, let's drag down. Apple Touch, I don't know if you can see it very well. It says Apple Touch 4G, iOS 5.0.1, Cindy 1.1.3. Alright, let me just cancel that um package. Oh, my bad. Hard drive with one hand. Okay. Now, what you need to do is go to Manage, go to um, Sources. If not, we have the Big Boss repo. Um, add um, Big Boss repo here. Um, here are some very good, um, yeah, very good sources here to get free stuff and stuff. So we kind of getting out of the video. Um, back to the video, okay. Um, now the thing I need to search for is. This tweet card called something like that. Konoya, I think, whatever. 5.0.1 on Tired. Now, if you have a um, Tired jailbreak via Red Snow, um, you can just um, download this um, tweak and it will make it on Tired. If you do not have a jailbreak, then um, just um, download the latest Red Snow and then um, you can do the entire jailbreak from there. Alright. Here you go. It says this package will allow you to allow your 5.0.1 device to reboot without requiring an external tool such as rest now. A lot of people have pretty much been waiting for this. Alright. Of course, um, I already installed it, you know. Right here it will be conform, the conform and download. Alright. Now to prove that this is a untailed video, I'm going to show you. I'm going to talk my iPad right now. Of course, it's job working, so you know I'm not faking the video or anything. Also, guys, in my next video, I'll be showing you actually how to get Siri on the iPhone 4 and I believe 3GS and um. Apple Touch 4G and then the third gen of Apple Touch. Okay. Go explain more later on. Let me just turn my iPad now. And as you will see, I don't need Red Snow to boot. Just watch, you know, one minute it will boot up probably. Yeah, about the Siri thing, it's like, um, they finally got the legal files, so they can put Siri on all the devices, and, um, it's not actually connecting to Apple servers, it's connecting to custom proxy servers, like, servers that you guys will make, or somebody will, like, you know, play up there, so you can use their server to, um, do like a series server more type of thing. I think that it's gonna be better because you can actually add your custom commands. All right, back. All right. Let me just. Don't want you to show you my password. Okay. All right, and there you go. It's untitled. I didn't need rest to boot, and 
uh, Blupsindia. Usually, when you know you um, boot until most time it just stays in the Apple screen. Sometimes it will go here, but then Safari won't work and Cinder won't work. And there you go. Seen the uh, fully working SAE chefs right there. Um, let me just. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to Mail, I'm just gonna go to Safari. Let's roll up this site. Um, yeah, let's try out to my Wi Fi. Alright, as you see, Safari works, so this, so this is a Ontario jailbreak, finally. I've been waiting a long time, many people have been waiting a long time, and it finally came. More like a Christmas gift. Alright, you guys, so my next video, I'll be doing um, how to install Siri. Alright, guys, alright, peace.